It's a bit stupid to say I have a favorite color, but um, I think blue comes up a lot, that's for sure. Sometimes I just can't escape the blue because it makes sense. Blue is the sea, is the sky, is the mountain, it's the night. I think there is a, definitely a link with the, the outdoor. The way I will describe my style is I try to keep things simple, but with enough information to create an atmosphere or to tell a story. If by looking at one of my pictures, you feel like you want to know more about what happened before or after, well then there's enough for people to create their own story for it to live by itself. I will get a brief and start on tiny thumbnails. Very simplified, but uh, to me the composition and the idea is really... It's, it's almost the same because some ideas are good, but if I can't find the right composition for it, then it doesn't work. Once I'm happy with a few of that, I'm going to test them in Photoshop. So a bit bigger, sometimes with colors, to kind of have a feel about the picture and know if it actually works. From there is an exchange with the client and trying to reach uh, something they're happy with. Maybe it's a bit cliche, but I think it's those moments where you are doing an action that don't need thinking. Sometimes that's where you are like, oh, and what if I try that? Because you have been banging your head on a problem for a long time. When I climb, it's, it's something where you are really focused on what you do. It's one of the only things I can do without thinking about work or anything else. I really like the problem solving in illustration and in climbing. So in climbing, you have a set of holds and you have to use them in the best way you can to go to the top which is probably the less tiring and the more efficient. And I think with illustration, it's also the same. I like to find the most economic way to solve the problem. If it looks very simple, even if it isn't, and everything is in place, but it tells the story, then the job is done. <laughs>